Okay, welcome back to pre calculus. This lecture has covered the linear functions. Our main objective is to learn how to find the intercept of graphs and also how to graph linear functions. So we start with the definition of a linear function. Here we see a linear function is a function of the form f at x equal to ax plus b. a and b are constant values and also a normally is the slope of the graph and B will be the Y intercept. The Y intercept means when S equal to zero, the value of Y is called the Y intercept. So here we say the points where a graph intercept the X axis are called the X intercept points. And also the S coordinates of these points are called the X intercepts. Similarly, the points where the graph intersect the y-axis are also the y-intercept points. And the y-coordinate of these points are the y-intercepts. So to find the y-intercept of a graph of an equation, we're normally going to set x equal to 0. So the same thing applies to x-intercept. So if I'm looking for x-intercept, we set y equal to 0 and we solve for x. To find y intercept, we set x equal to zero and we find the value of y. So we have a question here. Here they say we should find the intercepts and graph the following. We have 3s plus y equal to 9. So to find this again the s intercept, we are going to say 3s plus 0 equal to 9. We set y as equal to 0. And the same thing to find y intercept we are going to set x equal to zero. So normally y-intercept here will give us nine. So let's look at the solution. To find the y-intercept, we set the x equal to zero and we solve for y. So it will be three times x, x is zero, plus y equal to nine. Three times zero is zero, so y equal to nine. So this means our y-intercept is nine. Now, to find the s-intercept, we're also going to set the y equal to 0, then solve for x. So we are going to get 3x plus 0 equal to 9. And since 3 is multiplied by x, when you cross the equal sign, it's going to divide. So we get s equal to 9 divided by 3, which will give us 3. So s-intercept is 3. So now we can plot the two points. So we have our... As we said, to find the y-intercept, we set s is equal to 0. So our point here will be 0 and 9. x is 0, y-intercept is 9. Also with the s-intercept, y is 0, x is 3. So those are the two points. Then we draw a straight line across the two points. Now let's see the second question. Uh, so here we say let x equal to 0 which gives y equal to zero. So we can go back to the question. So this is our question, s equal to four y. So if I'm looking for x intercept, it means y equal to zero. So the answer will be four times zero. And if I'm looking for y intercept, it means s equal to zero, zero divided by four, so it's zero. So that's what we are trying to say here. Let s equal to zero, that gives y equal to zero. Then also letting y equal to zero will give x equal to zero. So the only intercept of the graph of x equal to four y is at the point zero and zero. Because when s is zero, y is zero. And when y is zero, s is zero. So we have only one intercept. So the second point is in it needed to graph the line. So in this case, we are going to set any uh, point. So here we use y equal to one. So if y equal to 1, then s equal to 4y, which means s will give us 4 to be 4 times 1. And have a second point, which will be 4 and 1. So with this, we can be able to plot a, a linear. Now, to plot a linear graph, we need a minimum of two points. So we saw that the y-intercept and s-intercept, they are both 0, 0. So that gives us only one point. So using y equal to 1, we can use any value. I can say when s equal to 10 or when y equal to 3, what is the value of x? Or when s is 20, what is the value of y? I need two points in order to plot the graphs. So now we have 
So that's why you say it is wise to plot the third point as a check. We can use that as a check. Uh, so this is the solution. We have our two points, four and one and zero and zero. So anytime to plot a graph, we need at least a minimum of two points, which is the y-intercept and s-intercept is the thickest way. So here they say we should know that the equation graph in the figure below can be rewritten as y equal to nine minus three x, or we can say f at x. So y is the same as using the notation f at x equal to nine minus three x. Any value of x will give us different value of y. So here we can see in the figure, uh, three, zero, uh, 3 and 0 is our s-intercept. Again, 0 and 9 is our y-intercept. So that will be the conclusion of these lectures. Again, these lectures, our main goal is to learn how to find the value of uh, x and y-intercepts and also how to graph a linear function. Here we are looking for S and Y intercept of a linear function. So again, see you in the next lectures. Thank you.